Good morning, my fellow Americans. This has no doubt been a challenging time in the history of our great nation. Wait a minute. This isn't right. There we go. Good morning, Oasis Fellowship. I just wanted to take a few moments this morning to share with you the process and decision that the church leadership team has gone through as we consider reopening our facility. The last couple of months have been a unique and challenging time for all of us. None of us have experienced a pandemic lockdown like this one. People have reacted in a variety of ways and many have strong opinions about what should and should not be done during this time. As a country, this has served to divide us even more and viewpoints have been expressed strongly on social media and other platforms. While each of us are entitled to our opinions and viewpoints, as ambassadors of the kingdom of God, we are to be more concerned with representing Christ, our Savior, in ways and with words and heart attitudes that reflect his life within us. The Apostle Paul told the Roman church in Romans 14, 19, So then, let us pursue what makes for peace and mutual upbuilding. Elsewhere, Paul instructs the church at Ephesus in Ephesians 4.29 to let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up as fits the occasion that it may give grace to those who hear. Within our small church body, there are a variety of opinions, viewpoints, mindsets, and ideas regarding politics, culture, and the needed response to this pandemic. As believers, we are to value each person as a child of God, whether we agree with their ideas or not. And the outward expression of this value is to treat them with kindness, respect, and love. That will require us at times to simply agree to disagree about an issue and continue to love and value the person for who they are. This is the unity and love that Jesus teaches us. We must not allow Satan and his spirit of hate and deception to divide us as a church. Personally, I have not seen that attitude displayed toward others in the Oasis Church family. And I'd like to commend you on that. Last week, Jen had the opportunity and privilege of visiting many of you when she dropped off your ladies' gifts for Mother's Day, and she heard a vast majority express a desire to be meeting face-to-face -face on Sunday mornings and in home groups. The writer of the letter of Hebrews tells us that this gathering together is for the purpose of encouraging one another. We have seen the overwhelming enthusiasm of so many of you greeting one another and caring for one another on our Zoom meetings. You value the relationships you have cultivated at Oasis, and we all wish to continue to deepen them, but in person, not in video chats. We know and understand that this meeting together is a vital part of our faith, and while it can be fulfilled somewhat through video conferencing, it's not the same as meeting in person. We endured it for a season out of respect to the governing authorities God has placed over us. Even though religious institutions were officially exempt from the restrictions placed on businesses and other organizations. More importantly though, we exercised wisdom in instituting this out of concern for the physical health and well-being of our church family members. However, as the ongoing update of statistics show, the vast majority of us at Oasis Fellowship are at low risk for contracting the COVID-19 virus. Therefore, the church leadership team has agreed to begin a phased opening of our regular celebration services. I'll pause a minute to allow you to cheer. We will begin meeting again on Sunday morning, May 31st, 2020 which happens to be Pentecost Sunday. And we will do so with what you might call a soft opening. 
On May 31st, we will begin the service at our usual time at 10 a.m. And all are welcome to attend in person. We will be meeting at Broad Street Park Pavilion in Akron. However, we would suggest that those who are in what would be considered a high-risk demographic consider continuing taking part through the service online, which we will have available through Facebook Live. We will also record the video and make it available on all our social media platforms, including Facebook and our YouTube channel. Additionally, anyone who is uncomfortable or has any concerns about the health implications, we would also encourage you to stay home and participate with us online. Let me explain what I mean by the soft opening that I mentioned before. On May 31st, we will meet outside our church facility in the Broad Street Park down the street. Please bring lawn chairs or blankets to sit on. Please sit six feet apart from others. We ask that members of the same families please sit together. There will be no children's ministry, although we will provide simple activity packets for the children to use during the, the service. No food or drink will be offered, and the offering baskets will be placed on the side where you can place your offering without having to touch anything but your offering. I also want to remind you of the online giving option on our website, should you prefer to give that way. We are strongly suggesting you wear a mask only for the safety of others. We will shorten the service to about an hour in length. And while we anticipate resuming our regular meetings on June 7th with maintaining hygiene and social distancing guidelines of having hand sanitizer stations available, placing rows six feet apart, and having family groups sit together, we will be sending updates of the situation as they become available over email, video, and all of our social media platforms. We ask you to stay tuned as this will be evaluated on a week by week basis. Now, for some of you, these precautions may seem like overkill, and you may very well be right, but we believe this is a time to exercise abundant caution and to demonstrate to our community that while we feel the need to begin meeting in person again, we will do so in the most responsible way we can. For those of you who might feel these precautions are not sufficient, we would encourage you to participate with us through Facebook Live. Please appreciate that in making decisions like this, it is very difficult to please everyone. The need to extend grace, patience, and kindness to maintain the unity of the body of Christ is so important. Jesus stated clearly, The glory that you have given me I have given to them, that they may be one even as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you sent me and loved them even as you have loved me. Let us demonstrate to the world, through our unity, how much God loves them. I leave you with this benediction from Romans 15. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. I long for the day when we can share and abound in this hope in person. Many blessings to you. God bless you, Oasis family. This is Pastor Chris on behalf of the Eldership Team.